Hi everybody! I'm doing a zodiac energy reading for Scorpio for the month of May. So I'm going to go ahead and relax here, get tuned in, and we'll see what the message is for all of you. Okay, Scorpio. So the first image that they're showing me, it's a little odd. It's like I'm looking through a dirty window and there's muddy rain. So when the rain hits the window, there's mud in the rain itself. And I'm looking at a very thin wall and there's no roof. But the water doesn't come in where I'm standing. It just hits this window. So the window kind of remains muddy looking. And it's not very thick mud. You ever have a, a window that's just... it? It needs to be cleaned, <laughs> but you can still see through it, you know? That's what the window looks like. There's rain falling down upon it right now, and there's just, like, mud in the rain. This is strange. You're noticing this, but you're kind of noticing a lot of things. The wall is white. You keep looking at the super clean wall that's white. But you don't know what to do with yourself. It's like there's a lot of opportunity here. But what? It's almost like there's so much opportunity, it's not fully realized as to how to let that opportunity just, just to take off with it. They keep showing me these perfect white walls that you could paint, you know? This window that you could wash. <laughs> this uh, empty room that you could fill with furniture. There's something like a, a lot of opportunities that are staring you right in the face, but for some reason you're not grasping that reality. You're just seeing these beautiful white walls and this window that, yeah, there's just dirty rain, I guess. But it hasn't registered that... You could paint the walls, you could wash the window, you could fill this place with furniture, you could do anything, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's what's going on here. You ever really want to see something that's staring you right in the face, and then several years later, it's the most obvious thing. This weird epiphany comes, it's like, you know what? It was so obvious all along, how come I couldn't have gotten that two years ago? And now I finally figured it out. It was staring in my face the whole time. This is it. There is some crazy opportunities for Scorpio right now that are staring you right in the face. I mean, they're staring you right in the face. Let's see if Scorpio can uh, notice. <laughs> Let's see. Scorpio just keeps admiring the clean white walls. Really attracted to that. It doesn't see it as something that anything else needs to be done here. Doesn't really feel bothered by the dirty window because it's it's not like something that has to be done. It just is what it is. But now Scorpio is turning around and feels so empty inside. Like something in life is really missing. And doesn't know why. Doesn't know how to remedy it. They say, you're not putting all your gifts to good use here. <laughs> Are you serious? There's so many gifts that you have, and you're doing nothing with them. <laughs> so if you feel empty or lonely, it's because you miss yourself. You miss being yourself. You miss being creative. You miss self-expression. You need to come out from within yourself. Free yourself. Why is Scorpio not exactly hearing me? It's like, no, that's not it. Okay. You're, there's a couch that is appearing here, very basic looking. You're sitting down on it and thinking about life. And you're staying very much so in the head and just going around and around about life, thinking about life, thinking about life, thinking about life, thinking about life over and over. Like I could say this a hundred times and that's what's going on here. I am going to give you a kick in the butt 
in order to help you see <laughs> that you need to be participating. There's so many things that you can be participating in and it will fill your world with so much heaven, so much love and passion and ambition. It's gonna change everything for you and it's literally right there, it's right there. You're so close, you're so close. So I'm giving you a kick in the butt. <laughs> I just need to do it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm gonna see how Scorpio reacts to this. <laughs> okay, the kick in the butt with Scorpio is like, oh, I think I gotta go to the bathroom. Again, not getting the hint. <laughs> the kick in the butt was trying to tell you something, but you thought it meant you had to go to the bathroom. It wasn't that. This is what I'm supposed to show you for the month of May. This is to get you thinking, okay? <laughs> get you perceiving, get you out of your head, all right? Get you participating in the world, if you feel ready for that. But if you notice yourself feeling anything like maybe lonely or maybe life is kind of too quiet or too dull or not interesting or um, you need to say, well, what is something that helps me to feel more creative? Like, what is something that helps me to feel um, productive or feel accomplished? And it's on a creative level. It's like building a birdhouse. It's like painting on a canvas. It's um, redecorating your home. Um, it's something creative and it's a project of some kind that you're putting yourself into. And then you, once you're, you're moving through it, you're seeing yourself in the, in the art that you're doing, in the creation, the final product. That birdhouse is a part of my own soul here in my very hand in the physical reality. This is what brings the, the breath of life to Scorpio in the month of May, okay? So that's the message for all of you. Thank you so much for watching. If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, have a great day and have a wonderful month of May.